Hello, Dave here. Uh, another episode of um, our, our kit um, reviewing and demonstrations. Um, this time I want to go over two uh, spirit boxes. Uh, the two that, well, there's only one that we use, the other one we don't use as much now. I didn't really have much luck with it. Is the S box. We've all probably seen one of these. A little aerial on it, like that. And the controls on it is the you've got the on and off control which is top there that's that's your volume increase and then you've got the S box as you can see there FM. that will give you the free <laughs> You can decrease the volume level, and this also has a battery indicator here as well. Um, it does right, it does right reverse backwards scanning. If you hold your finger on it, quick, it will scan the stations. And this basically works like a radio where it works on the uh, white noise, it will scan the frequencies at fa fast speed and uh, when you ask questions in principle when you ask questions you're supposed to get the disembodied voices that come through um, like I said we've not had much luck with this one um, but it it looks good it looks cool for your kit they, these are not worth the money They're about a hundred and something pounds and I don't think for the success rate not much success after these don't really rate them. Um, it's good to put in your kit. The, like I said, they look good. It's rechargeable. It has memory card for your data. It has headphones. It has a little LED torch thing there. And this thing on the wrist strap, you put into the slot here, and it allows you to stand it up. Other than that, it's just like a glorified mini radio. So, don't rate that. Our second one is the TSB-11. Now these are pretty, well, say accurate. They're used by, they're used by a lot of the paranormal investigators in the field, especially on the shows, um, Ghost Adventurers, uh, they've used them. Um, I think, um, I think they've used them in, um, well, I can't remember without watching the show. Anyway, a lot of the shows have used them. Uh, and they have actually come up with some good results. Uh, this is, um, I think, it's better than the black and red one anyway. Um, it's very, very technical. It's got lots of controls on it. Um, but let me show you the features. Put the air and aerial, of course. You have a great stand there, so you can stand it up wherever you are. Um, tripod mount, of course the battery units in there. On the side, this side, we have uh, we have headphones for channel one, headphones for channel two, and you can also use those to put um, a speaker, a loudspeaker up to it, one of these handheld ones. Or you can put a recorder up to it because this unit doesn't record it only um only plays back and receives um you've got temp you've got a light on the on the side here put the batteries back in on there anyway you've got the light and you've got the temperature reverse temperature and on switch there which bleeds and there you can see when you switch it to temperature, temperature control is here, uh, temperature reset button, and you have two channels. So if you so if we were to set this top one here to AM, decrease the volume I think on this. Decrease the volume. Okay, well that's so we've got one on AM and one on FM. So we go to sweep state so that it 
here you can see the sweep state the higher it is that's it goes we've got we want reverse and forward so if we go put your finger down on it and on this side if you're your finger down on that it will swiftly scan increase the sweep on that as you can see they're, they're both scanning high range like that and then we've just got volume controls here for this side uh, volume controls this side we've got function which will which will turn which will reset it and turn it off um, and then yeah on this side we've got a switch indicator light on we've got a switch that switches it to AM FM and AM FM antenna so we switch it to antenna Okay. So yeah, this has got a pretty good success. Most of the shows, we've not actually picked anything up with it yet. So it's just a matter of preference. Some people get on well with them, some people don't. Maybe it's something that um, we might pick up later on in time. The good thing about this is, with, it, with everything being lit, it's good in the dark as well. So yeah, that's your PSB11, and this is the improved version from the small SP7, SP7, which is just a single channel. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's this one. So there's not more to say on that one. Though. So you've got the two types of spirit boxes. Um, Matter of preference, really. So there you go. See you in the next one. Next one we'll talk about the the new hex box. So. See you then. Bye.